Hello horror movie fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris, Netflix has finally revealed the first full length trailer for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The movie drops in like two weeks on Netflix and all we had was this short little teaser trailer that really didn't show us anything and two posters. But here finally Netflix decided, you know what, the people deserve to see it. Let's put it on our YouTube channel with 22 million subscribers and let's have it unlisted so that no one can see it. What? That's right, as of me recording this right now, if you go to their channel, the trailer is still unlisted, so you have to go through some hoops and hurdles to find it. Nonetheless, around here we enjoy talking some horror movies, so what I'm going to be doing here for you guys is just giving you my thoughts and opinion on this Texas Chainsaw Massacre trailer, showing you some of the best moments of the trailer, but this won't just be about me. Use the comment section right now to give me your opinion on this movie. I had really high hopes for this when I heard they were finally going to be rebooting and doing something new with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but with everything we've learned and everything we've seen, I've just had to tame my expectations to now. I just want a bloody fun time movie. All right, so with this full length trailer for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I'm just thinking a couple of things. One, it really does not look that bad. We've had a lot of leaks come out about this movie and some things have been proven right from this trailer. One of those things that people didn't believe me when we were talking about it is that there will be a scene in the movie where Leatherface himself will jump onto a party bus and a bunch of people on that bus will be live streaming and he'll take them down during it. It sounded ridiculous, but you know what? I'm gonna just show it to you. anything you cancel bro oh, fuck. I'll give them props because that did sound absolutely terrible but the way it plays out in this trailer oh I'm clapping I'm like that was awesome bunch of people trying to cancel Leatherface and the man's like I gotta change what are you gonna do with that phone either way I think a joke like that might piss some people off just because it involves cancer culture and whatnot but it's like it's a horror movie people are slashing and dying let's have some fun here other than that this trailer seems to be taking very very heavy inspiration from Halloween 2018 like part of me feels they just took the script from Halloween 2018 and we're like all right take out Michael Myers and put in Leatherface. Because this movie is supposed to be a direct sequel to the very first Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, so everything and anything that has happened between, you can ignore and forget about it. This is old man Leatherface well into his 70s, and it looks like a new group of kids come into town. From what we've been hearing now that these leaks have kind of been proven true, is that these kids are in town because they have bought the town and are going to gentrify the area. Basically kick out everybody who lives in this town and then try and turn it fancier so that other people could come and live in it. We have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. That's really going to be a sparking motivator for Leatherface right there. He's like, yo, this is my town. This is all I've known. You stepped into my territory. It's time to get my chainsaw. But the part of this trailer that I'm like, oh, this is definitely Halloween 2018 is the inclusion of their Jamie Lee Curtis, or I should say Sally. Because we do see here newspaper clippings talking about the one survivor from the very first Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, and that's the character of Sally, who's said now to be a Texas Ranger, who of course from one event and one attack from Leatherface has put her on a path to just be vengeful, waiting for the day she can attack him, and now is her chance, apparently. Sally? I'm afraid your old friend's back. 50 years I've been waiting for this night. We also get a better look of the new mask Leatherface will be donning in this movie, and I gotta say, still not a fan of it, but I guess it's creepy enough. It really just looks like a melted face on him. I think there are some better shots of it in this trailer when he's fully covered in blood. I'm not saying this approach that Halloween 2018 has kind of made famous now in the horror slasher genre is bad, but what they're doing here just feels so rehashed, obviously knocking off Michael Myers, even more so because it feels like we've almost kind of had this exact same sequel with Texas Chainsaw 3D, where that movie was a direct sequel to the first Texas Chainsaw and had an older leather face going after a new group of kids. So I'm starting to see exactly why the studio felt, yeah, we're probably not going to make our money back if we throw this in theaters. Netflix, how much will you give to us? But look, with that said, we also have to be really honest with ourselves. Leatherface has had, what, like nine, eight movies? And like really only two, three of them are good. Let's not pretend like Leatherface makes the best horror movies that ever existed. At the end of the day, they really are just carnage filled. A man with a chainsaw going after people 
and that's what's going to be given to us. Because if I put aside this weird little plot, the motivation of some of these new characters and why Leatherface is coming back, some of the carnage filled stuff and Leatherface actually going ahead and killing some people in this trailer looks absolutely bloody and fantastic. So really, if this movie can just hold my attention, keep me entertained for what, the hour and a half runtime, I will be pleased with it and it'll probably be one of the better sequels that we've gotten and in like five years they'll reboot it again. But those are just my thoughts with the trailer for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot. I want to hear from you guys out there. Are your expectations high for this movie? Are you going to tame them down? Is this one you're going to be checking out the day it drops on Netflix? Anything, everything, I'd love to hear from you guys down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris and take care.